which is, arrives in quite a large box. And this one hasn't been out yet. As you can see, I'm still struggling with sellotape. Full size of the box. There's no waste or polystyrene in there. And let's get him out and see what we can do. Okay, so we've got him out of the box. Uh, first thing you'll notice is this is missing, but it's not. Don't worry about it. Um, open the lid up. It clips down, obviously, for transportation. So you, I recommend just pulling it a little bit with your thumb. It's quite tight. And first thing you notice is an explanation of where the chemicals go. And here is our caps that we were looking for, for the top here. And we got our first Aqua Rinse Plus and Aqua Chem Clean. So this is the system basically. So the Chem Clean will go in here. And what's the Aqua Rinse Plus? Where's that go? Aqua Rinse Plus goes in the water tank. So this the flush tank takes that one. And then the Aqua Clean goes in the base tank. Okay, that's simple enough. Workable toilet. Nothing too exciting there. So, first thing is, you the top bit is where your fresh water goes. You pull that in there. And the, the bottom tank, because it's, let me put this on its side. There's two tanks. Fresh water tank in the top, waste water in the bottom. And to open it, there's a lever here, which flicks across, but at first you've got to pull this one forward, then flick this one, and it will come apart. So here we go. That's now our top section, put to one side. And then we'll look at the base section. This is where your waste basically goes. And when you empty it, this is where it comes out. So you sort of tilt that like that, you know, when you're emptying it. Um, I'll go over how we empty, empty these later because there's, you've got to vent it as well to let the air through there's there's a process to emptying the tanks but that is basically the toilet um, what can I say about this one well the first thing is the height the height is actually about right because I was a bit worried about getting some of these porta potties and finding that the, the height was wrong if it's too too low I'll then have to build it up I'm not struggling to put this on by the way, it's because this, to fit it back on, there's two hooks here. I've got to slide it on the front. Let's get this. That's it. Slide it on the front, pull the lever on the back, and that's it, hook back on. It's not struggling, all it is is I've got the camera, so I'm doing it with one hand, so if I can manage it with one hand, you can manage it with two. And that's it back together. And that's basically it. But like I said, the height's good, the height's, the height's relevant, um, because obviously you don't want it too low. You know, I didn't want to put like a plinth on it to raise it up when I could just buy one the right size in the first place, which is why I went for a bigger model. Um, basically for all the for the height help. All right, thanks for watching. I did forget to mention is it's pump action. You know, it, basically you pump this that pushes the water through, circulates the water, so you get your clean water go down as a flush. You know, it's a it's a what do you call it? Well, it's the flush, but it's just, I suppose that is it a siphon system. Mm. It's well, it's pump action anyway. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Yeah.